Hi, I'm Jeremy Simon with 3D Universe. Today we're going to be looking at the new Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect. I'm going to take you through some of the new features that this printer offers, and we'll talk about how it compares to its predecessor, the very popular Ultimaker 2 Plus. Let's get started. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about the differences between the new Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect and the predecessor, the Ultimaker 2 Plus. As you can see, these two printers are the same size and they have exactly the same build area, so nothing has changed in that regard. What they've done basically is they've updated this printer to take advantage of all the latest and greatest features that they've introduced in the S line of printers, the S3 and the S5, things like the touch panel that you see on the front now, instead of the uh, rotary dial that you had on the previous version. It's a lot more responsive, it can give you more interactive kinds of guidance and instructions uh, as you navigate the controls of the printer. It also has networking capabilities, hence the name Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect. They've introduced both wired and wireless network connectivity, so you can take full advantage of Ultimaker's digital factory platform, which is basically their cloud-based uh, management platform for managing your printers and print jobs. Uh, another difference that we have is you'll see there's a USB flash drive now instead of the SD card. The USB flash drives are a little bit more prevalent, a little easier to work with. You don't need to have uh, adapters for reading SD cards, etc. So uh, I'm happy to see that change. And then uh, obviously we have the Air Manager now, which is a great new addition that was not available for the Ultimaker 2 Plus. This is a very popular printer, especially in schools and educational environments, and that makes this accessory a very welcome addition. This provides air filtration. It'll remove up to 95% of ultrafine particles, so it makes for a much uh, cleaner environment when you're printing with, with various types of materials. Uh, it also helps to sort of maintain the temperature within the printer in the build environment, which will give you more reliable printing results. And then it provides sort of a physical barrier, too, to prevent uh, kids from sticking their hands in there and touching the hot nozzle, things like that. Other changes are a little bit harder to notice, um, but they did update the bed, uh, providing a more stable uh, platform for the build plate so that you'll have a little bit less vibration, a little bit higher quality printing. Another important uh, feature update is the assisted bed leveling. Uh, you had a certain degree of assisted leveling on the 2 Plus, but it's a much more robust version of the assisted leveling on the 2 Plus Connect. You also have an updated feeder that gives you more reliable filament handling. So those are some of the changes that we see at a hardware level. Now let's talk a little bit more about the, the key feature of the Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect, that is the network connectivity. The reason that's important is not just to make it easier to get your jobs to the printer, though it certainly does that, but also because it allows you to take advantage of the full Ultimaker ecosystem. You can take advantage of Digital Factory, their cloud-based uh, print management platform. You can take full advantage of the Cura Marketplace, where you can download ready-to-use material profiles, as well as Cura plugins and other types of add-ons like that. So you get full access to this range of features that previously was limited to those printers like the S3 and the S5 that had that network connectivity. So that makes for a much more functional 3D printing workflow overall, and it's a welcome addition to see here. So with that network connectivity, you could, for example, have a whole farm of these printers set up and manage them all centrally so that if you wanted to have more 3D printing throughput for your organization or for your classroom, you could have as many of these as you need lined up, and then you can control all of them through the cloud-based management platform that Ultimaker provides. You also can tie this into the new Ultimaker Essentials package, which gives you access to enhanced levels of support from Ultimaker for Cura, as well as uh, more enterprise level features, such as uh, more stable versions of Cura, ready for enterprise deployment, uh, that's been security assessed, things of that nature. So as you can see, we got a really nice print here. Quality looks good, nice surface finish. Just what you'd expect from an Ultimaker. I did this print at a 0.2 millimeter layer height just uh, to do sort of a quick test. This printer is capable of doing far higher resolution than that at the expense of speed, of course. So there you go, that's the Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect. As you can see, they've introduced some great new features to make an already great printer even better. I hope you enjoyed the video and found this useful. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see other videos like this. Thanks for watching.